Hello there. Um, this is just going to be a sort of tutorial for a speedrun for a muckrunner, showing off a run with quote unquote easy skips, so no like incons inconsistent skips, which you'll likely, which you would likely just reset your run over and over again um, to, to pull them off. But instead, you know, a run which you'd be able to pull off in every single attempt. I don't want to discourage major skips just for someone who's beginning to play. You know, it's probably best that you get yourself familiar with the with running the game normally before you start before you start uh, with the skips. Um, yeah. So for for context, Charlie or you know Penguin Z Penguin Zero. Um, made a $10,000 bounty for this game for anyone who reaches uh, who gets world record after two weeks it's been a week lots of skips have been discovered lots of optimizations and everything um, so you know there's still time if you haven't if you haven't tried it yet if it looks interesting to you um, there's still time you could you could still get world record um, and also new skips are being developed over time So some segments of this video might become a bit obsolete uh, But yeah, should you watch this video? Well, there's a lot of documents which show off a lot of the skips with examples and uh, explanations So I'll link those in the description. There's also a lot of resources and a discord um, you probably don't need to watch this video, you could just read those and just try to play the game. Uh, but I guess this video will just go over like in detail some of the things that you might want to go through. So yeah, I'll just I'll just speedrun the game. Well, I won't really speedrun, I'll just talk about everything. But I'll just start with, with the settings, which are actually very important. Um, First of all, in terms of uh, graphics, I would recommend running everything alone, just for performance sake. Also, there are some setups which rely on graphics you can probably only see in low settings. Um, but probably more important, honestly, is the sounds. You want to mute music. There is a cutscene. There's a cutscene that lasts 36 seconds. And... Um, Removing music cuts down cuts it down to 10 seconds Also, I had a lot of lag issues and stuttering issues um, Just a lot of points where the game froze and as soon as I muted my music those were gone for the most part So yeah, disable music other than that You can just start a new game make sure to play on easy You start out with a cutscene, you can't do much about it. Every day feels exactly the same. I'm having the worst nightmares till morning. Another sleepless day begins. You just wait for the cutscene and then sprint out here. It's a beautiful day. Just Isn't sprint over to the guy on the no place bench. To sit here. And then you get another cutscene. Excuse me, just wait. I think you wanted to sit alone because when you saw me, I had the feeling that you were a bit hesitant. Please stay. I'll leave. Uh, you don't bother me. Uh, on the contrary, I'm glad that I'm not alone once in a while. I haven't said a word to anyone. After for, this for section days. of the dialogue, you want to press, you want to spam space. Some dialogue sections allow you to hold space to skip them, but just spamming space, by pressing space one, you skip over the dialogue section, so in some parts it's quicker. And then you enter the clinic. Now for the clinic, you want to 
pick up this sheet of paper, this sheet of paper, open the door here, open this door, and get this sheet of paper. Once you do, that triggers in this town a lady to appear. She's down here. You just want to go over there to her to trigger her dialogue. But uh, I just want to go over a kind of a skip that I haven't been able to get working correctly. Um, where you want to stick yourself in between this chair and table and face the door. And then you want to walk out of the room about around the time that I do it. Um, and you will skip talking to the lady if you do it correctly. I'll try doing it. It saves about eight seconds, I think. Um, but I wouldn't worry about it too much if you're just starting out. I managed to do a 29-29 run without this or any of the major skips. And I think that's pretty decent. If you add on the major skips too, that's got a lot of potential. But yeah, anyways. Good day, doctor. Just walk up Forgive to her. Forgive me for popping in unannounced. Once she starts talking, we you don't station. have to do anything with her. You, you just wait. Let's continue so this conversation. Take that time to uh, set yourself up I over here. Things about you. The way you treated the deputy governor was unbelievable. And yeah. His leg is almost as perfect. You just want to wait for the frame. Um, that I he left off. There's if probably better videos to us, check the skip on, but we are more than ready to send our grumpy Try to get away. out the room the moment that Why her don't legs, we see you around? Just just look at her legs you and try to like recreate what I do. If I manage it. I didn't manage it. Yeah, I did it too early and the and the door didn't close. So yeah, if I like you fail it. Then there just are such hold nice space. Books. I want to read to them. Skip the cutscene, and then you hold Y to look at this. As soon as the camera stops moving, you can stop holding Y. Or else you'll be sorry for it. Although it's not too important since a cutscene of sorts just plays. Yeah, just kick down the door. Just leave this. Open this, <clears throat> and you have Linda driving off. You ignore her and race for the bike. There are a lot of. Uh, Bike related skips. Train station. To the left, uh, there are some chickens there. where we have something called a cock skip. I have like half did it once. But there's a new skip being developed that seems to be a bit faster, although less consistent. Um, but yeah, I mean, until you get it, hold the run like a normal run uh, consistently, then. Doing those major strats is just going to be pointless and soul crushing since you're going to keep resetting without anything to show it. But okay, if you're just I doing this normally, then just poorly. follow my route. Doctor, I should have helped. I must catch up and apologize. Turn over here. You want to ram into the door and wait for the, the sound. You want to wait for the sound that you just heard. The ding that signifies, okay, you've uh, like reached a checkpoint or reached a new objective. And once that happens, you want to escape. And you want to load the last checkpoint. And that basically skips you getting off the bike. So, And um, if you use the auto splitter, which you have to use to be approved by the... Uh, the leaderboards, uh, the load times are paused, so that saves a lot of time. In most friends, hurry up, the train's about Dang, you to just leave. go through this door, you sort of get put into a cutscene. At this point, you can control yourself, just go towards that poster over there. Liked her, but she managed to flee the town just like all other times. But then just face yourself towards the poster. Nothing remains. But your camera. Here. It's a small town. Away from it, so that you are able to interact with the poster. But you're looking to the back. Just, I mean, it's not too important. Just saves maybe like a small amount of time. 
So you can just quickly look at it, you know, just spam E to like just look at it and then uh, look at it and then you can like sprint uh, forwards. Now I know that you're the wife of a big businessman, a wealthy English of a noble origin. Riverside 81 Super Express has departed from platform 2. The next service is... And then you just follow my route. In a normal game you might go towards the right side straight towards your house which is that blue one you might see behind palm trees and everything but that triggers an, an enemy in a cutscene to appear but we are going to do something that's called a cow skip where we just walk through this field of cows and skip that cutscene entirely Have the, I have the trainer installed, actually, which just lets me speed up the time, so, you know, uh, just follow this route and you'll reach your house here. And then just spam me to open the door, and then you need to go to this uh, drawer, just spam me to open it, and then you pick up the, uh, the keys. Now, if you're picking things up, that cutscene you just saw, which slows down time, will show, so get a habit of like spamming E to pick up a uh, an item and spamming space to skip that cutscene. Well, you don't need to do anything else in the house, just go back here, go to the car, and then drive the car. And just follow my route. I'll speed up time a bit. Be careful! And crash into everything because I don't have a habit of driving in fast motion. Especially with, like, the car is just very wonky in this game. Um, so yeah, there is a skip in development as well, a crane skip, where you can, like, launch yourself into... So our goal basically is that house in the back. But there is a skip that's being developed where you can just skip over, um, skip over this upcoming puzzle, and it saves a lot of time. I mean, it, it's it's developed. It's just um, the problem is getting back. It's just very inconsistent. Uh, but yeah, talking about the normal route, you just wanna drive towards -road, this crane here. Um, the best way to stop your car is to just slam into that log on the floor. Like, stop beforehand a bit, like, pull the brakes. Because if you go too fast, you will, uh, like, dock yourself on the tree trunk, and you won't be able to, uh, control your car anymore. But if you pull the brakes a bit, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll be able to stop yourself, maybe get both your wheels up here on the tree, but as long as your wheels in the back are on the ground, you should be safe. Then you just want to rush over here, and this is the crane puzzle. The current uh, fastest way to, to take care of this puzzle is to follow what I'm about to do. At least as far as I know, it's the fastest known route. Yeah, skipping this puzzle um, and being able to exit the house later on with the skip would save a lot of minutes because this puzzle takes a full minute I think to finish Speed this up again. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, normal speed. Just want to get back in the car. You want to drive back and you want to go towards this. Um, have fun getting the hang of not bumping into the sides. Uh, you just want to keep driving as fast as you can. 
and your goal is that gate. Once you reach the gate, you will hear a ding, uh, signifying that you reached a new checkpoint, at which point you can just reload, um, which gets you out of the car and everything. Um, now the problem is, um, you're likely going to ram into the middle of the gate um, what, while you're doing this. And if you do that later on, your car will be parked in like directly in the middle between these two lamps. And in this game, if there is something in the way of your like um, your door, you won't be able to open it. And if you park right in between these two lamps, you're soft locking the game. Not soft locking, but you know you'd have to walk to the next de destination. That's <laughs> that's uh, pretty lethal. So just try to, while you're driving, try to ram while being as close to the right lamp as possible. So you want to do something like this. You'd usually be, be faster, of course, but uh, you want to do something like that. Um, yeah, not only does it get you out of the car, it gets you all the way to the entrance of that basement. And this is where we stopped. And um, just to show you, right, so your car will be in the middle. You can't open this door, you don't get a prompt. Um, and I mean, it doesn't, it wouldn't look like you wouldn't be able to open the door. So you'd probably think the game was bugged. I know I was thinking that when I was initially running runs. But yeah, you're going to load the checkpoint and arrive at the entrance here. You just want to ignore that and run over here to this shed. And here you have this, a collection of numbers uh, and letters. What you want to look for is the letters. If you look closely, there's an N, a collection of Ns, which forms a big N, a collection of zeros that forms an O, a collection of Es, and a collection of Fs. That's the code. So this code is NOEF. Let us appear to have been hidden between the numbers. This sheet shows you which number presents which letter. I recommend uh, memorizing it because it's much faster. And you also don't need to press E to look at this. You can just look at it Let from a to have been hidden look at it numbers. from a distance. NOEF. Um, I haven't really um, tinkered with this, but apparently there's only five possible combinations. So if you know what the first two letters are, you don't even need to look for the, to been hidden between the others numbers. because you know which one it's going to be. But yeah, N-O-E-F, uh, N is eight, I think, O is five, uh, six, one, yes. Open, just spam me to take the pliers and spam space to skip the cutscene and you get this. And then you run over here through this Drop down here. Ah. And just follow this route. We have this ladder. You just want to press E on it to uh, lower it, which makes no sense. I mean, we now get locked into a stealth <laughs> uh, section. Um, remember to press you're here. Remember to spam space because if you don't, this shows up. Um, you just we just have to wait for this ladder to drop down, which I mean, we do. Do we really? Can't we just go up? But yeah, um, you just want to avoid them. They're they're blind. Just make sure you don't sprint and you're practically invisible. Um, you can just circle around this pool table and no one will see you. Also, if you get yourself stuck here. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't be seen, but if you press shift to sprint even lightly, I think you're going to get insta found pretty much because they are pretty, they can hear well, but they, their eyes seem to be, uh, well, not in the best shape. So yeah, this guy can, uh, just passes you, but I mean, I find it a bit boring. Yeah. Just after that guy passes, you can just be safe here. Just spam me. To get up as soon as possible, and there, there you have. It. 
you're not now up you're now in the uh, the house you want to go up these stairs and you go to the support rates and and press e. i'd recommend um memorizing well not memorizing there is an optimal like for all these puzzles that i'm going through there's an optimal way optimal fast way to get them um to run them so uh i just uh i just uh know the correct combination on the top of my head but i don't really i haven't trained myself to do it very efficiently um but yeah you just want um you just want i'll just show you the, the combination and you can either look over the documents to see what's most optimal about it like what's the most optimal way to take care of it uh, but this is the solution you want the elderly at the top you want like the uh, the middle-aged at the middle and you want the kids at the bottom once I swap these two that should be it and then you get the, the door open over here I'll run over here you'll want to run to the right first spam space me to, to get the gun and then go over here, spam space me to get the key. And then you want to leave Y of the stairs and open this door. Once you do, you get locked into an encounter. Your first fight. So combat, you have a gun. You aim it with the right mouse button, fire with the left. Uh, and you press R to reload. Um, now, I might be wrong when I say this, but I think you deal 30 damage to the chest, 40 damage to the head. And um, you don't want to hit anything else, like the arms or the legs, because it deals less than 30 damage. And uh, um, you basically want to kill everything in three shots. And if you miss or if you hit a, a wrong limb, it's going to take four or more shots. I'd recommend not rushing and focusing on hitting every shot correctly instead of just shooting a lot of shots and having to reload because it's quite slow. Well, um, I find it a bit faster. Uh, also, at the end of each of these encounters, once you kill the last enemy, um, if they're far away from you, you get like a sort of cutscene that plays, that takes a bit longer. It's not a huge time save, but if, if you kill someone while they're close to you, you will save a slight amount of time. This guy, I can never get him dead in three shots. And then you want to listen for the checkpoint and reload. And then you get TP to the gate and save some time. And then we get back here. I think the fastest way to turn around is to go back a little bit, a tiny bit, and then you go forwards and just turn left. I think I did too little. Okay, it's fine. Just turn like that. I think that's the fastest way. And then good luck going through the containers. My first few runs, I kept bumping into everything, but I kind of got gotten the hang, hang of it. And then you just want to follow the route I'm taking. But before I show the route, um, I'm going to show something off on those fences. There are some breakable objects um, in the game while you're driving, but if you do drive into them, they bump you back like this and cost you a lot of time. However, if you have your map open while you're breaking something, um, it does not like it does not um, slow you down. So, for example, this fence I'm driving into it. I'm opening the map, I try to look past the map to see it break, and then, you know, it doesn't break. But I don't know, these fences, sometimes they stop you, sometimes they, they don't. So if you just open the map like that, you will save some, you'll like, you'll know that you won't get stopped. I don't know, it's like, in terms of fences, it's like it has to slow you down the first time, and you hit it, and then it doesn't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, also one more important thing about this game. So I'm driving here, I'm going forwards, I'm opening the map. I let go of the map, but I'm holding W the whole time. You stop driving. So yeah, if you open up the map, it messes up your inputs. So if you're closing the map, 
make sure to like spam W and then hold W once you're sure that you're driving forwards. Uh, I mean, this might <laughs> this might not sound too important, but there is a section of the game where you are chased in a car, and if you slow down, you're going to get killed. And it's pretty pretty late, and get losing a run there would be soul crushing. Uh, all right, so I think the most optimal route is uh, the one I am taking here. Just go through here. There's an opening here. Turn a bit to the left, and there's a fence. So I just wanna make sure that's broken, and then you go here. I don't know why that uh, post thing didn't break, didn't stop me. I just, I don't quite understand that bit. But yeah, anyway, I mean, most of these driving sections, there's major skips in development that let you skip them entirely. Uh, but yeah, pulling them off is. Uh, seems to be quite difficult. If you go on Twitch and you look at the runners, you mostly see people <laughs> practicing those skips. Uh, so yeah, and, and they're practicing for hours. Um, so yeah, if you can't get um, the rest of the run correctly, there isn't much of a point in doing major skips because you'll, you'll just, uh, you know, even if you do pull off a ton of good skips, you still might get a very good time. At least that's my opinion. Um, some other people might disagree. But yeah, just uh, follow my route. You want to slam your car into this part here to like, stop yourself faster. And this is the match you need to go through. Just run through there and you will get an encounter. Oh, come on. <laughs> One more important thing. After combat. Why did I not get this guy? Just uh, spam R after combat to reload your gun. Quite important because some um, if you don't do that, you're going to get into the next combat without a full revolver. Uh, which uh, would probably waste you a lot of time. Anyways, just want to run over here into this house and go to the planetarium. need to get them. Um, there's a puzzle. Now, this isn't the most optimal way that I do it. There's probably faster ones. But I just do Jupiter, Jupiter, Neptune, Mars, Mercury, Earth, Neptune. That's what I do, but, you know, there's some optimizations. Although the optimizations in, in these puzzles aren't going to save you all that much time. But as you get better, as uh, the deviation like the possible time save gets lower and lower you're gonna have to start pulling these things off I don't know how I just opened and closed that but uh, yeah that sometimes happens and I don't know why it does uh, it happened only once for me in the first house you were in anyway just um, just run here um, through these two fences. Uh, one important thing to note, the left side of this fence is solid. That also matters when you're going in, so make sure you're leaving here. And here you have the left side opening while the right side is solid. Just run over here to this green house and open this door. And then just keep going through these doors. And then just run over here and you have a radio. Now this radio shows you some Morse code. Uh, Morse code, if you're unfamiliar, consists of sounds uh, where you have short sounds called dots and long sounds called uh, dashes. Um, and basically, hold on. I'll just show it. Um, yeah, like these puzzles, a lot of the puzzle, 
numbers in this game are uh, random, so you have to check the correct numbers each time. But yeah, so basically dots and dashes, and you want to what you basically want to look in. So that was three numbers, um, and the numbers are one to nine. What you want to look for is what the first in in a sequence. What the first um, noise is like. Is it a dot? Is it a dash? If it's a dot, then you want to count the amount of dots before the first dash. So if there's three dots and two dashes, that means you get a three. If you had just one dot and then dashes, it's one. If there's two dots, that's two. If there's three dots, that's three. If there's four dots, that's four. Five is five, of course. But if it starts with a dash, then one dash is six, two dashes is seven, uh, three dashes is eight, and so on. Uh, and five dashes is zero or you know ten um, so yeah you might want to get some practice um, you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly just you know on your first and second round you might make a mistake that was two because there was two dot dots that was a nine That was a two nine three. So yeah, just uh, just try to familiar familiarize yourself with that. Uh, what did I say? Two nine three. You want to sprint over. The statue looks very here. Heavy. There's a safe. I uh, just input the password the that password, and there you have it. Spam E and enter to grab the key. And then run back here. You get the access to this room where you have a rope which you can hang yourself with but that's what we're doing here grab it here this rope might be useful attach it to this statue here grab this and uh, attach it to this door here uh, let me just check something okay good Okay, uh, so yeah, you just want to attach the door there. Uh, you go up here, just push this statue. Ah! And the door opens. There. And you have that servant boy over there that you can run over to. Uh, there is a slight time save you can do if you reload after you, you hear the ding again. Must be Why am I not able to do this in the tutorial? You need to come with me. Hurry. It just skips your walking, I think. I can't tell this to anybody. Can you tell me what's happening here? Please, don't ask questions and just get in the car. Or, or else it might be too late. So just run after him into the car. You have to back up a slight, a slight bit and then you can go here and then... Did I back up enough? I did. Sure. Right. Just follow Where my route. She? I think that's the fastest Believe known one right she's in now. Right now. Please explain it from the beginning. She made the very wrong decision after leaving your side. We went I to keep the going the wrong way here, so I'm just going to back up. Um, she's about lately to die. I've gotten the habit Only of going the wrong way. Her. For some reason. The townsfolk noticed you. They told me you went after the um, So yeah, I just want to follow the I've route and then everywhere. follow It'd along the river a bit. And you want to go for this bush, not the left one. Um, you have to do the map skip here. Be careful. And just follow this route. And then here you can get back on the road. This, out of interest is this no Continue straight ahead. driving in this game is very wonky I've seen some things that just stop you like the smallest bits and then that sidewalk like being so high just doesn't really matter uh, driving in this game is weird Continue straight anyway ahead. just follow this road you'll see that bridge we went through at the start of the game when we were driving our bicycle uh, it's right over here so just try to learn to drive through it without getting hit I was just about to say I didn't really ever have any issues driving through it. This is the first time I ever bumped into it. Anyways, uh, just keep driving here. 
and you'll have this train going by. You want to go past it over here. And here. And then you have you just go, go the here. Of the neighborhood. Hurry. And you get a cutscene. We are almost there. Follow me. Follow the boy. I have very fresh fish for sale. Would you like some? Listen to the uh, voice acting. Have you got any spare change? This one's my favorite. Oysters have arrived just now. Just now. Hello, handsome. And then we have a uh, pretty easy puzzle over here. Uh, you just want to uh, go to the third one, spam space, go to the left one, spam space, go to the second one, spam space, and it's done. Just follow the boy towards the door, and you get a f fight scene. Over there! Uh, try to kill them as efficiently as you can. Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! How are they alive? Open the door! Come here. You better run. Door! Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Well, you door. just run like this, and you don't Open. have like that black and white cutscene. It's like a little bit faster. Run in here. And we finally find Linda. If you've been following the story, we've just been looking for this woman who asked us to make an abortion for her, and then she left. Uh, the story in this game is pretty weird. Just run here. We need to go to the. To and the then you have immediately a lot of no. time, so don't worry about it. No. We want to we want to find the digits to a code that's coming up. Nobody uh, this know. number is the first number. You Nobody can see that know. because there's one line here. The house. Uh, this is the second number. The there's house. two lines. Uh, you just want to remember two, know. six, and then nobody find nobody will know the last number. I, I promise. Over here. Three. Okay. Nobody will this line after this promise me only after this promise me this lock uh, is interactable. This only medicine cabinet is locked. Uh, what was the uh, what was the combination? I, I I need to hurry. Two six what? Two six three. three. Anyways, um, you just match it over here. Two six three. You open it. Spam space. Spam E. You get it. Close it. You run. And she's dead. Now what I said about the music. This the cutscene takes thirty six seconds. If you have music enabled. If you don't, it lasts this long. Make sure to listen to that thing and reload. I don't know how much time it saves really, but you know, it's apparently a time skip, so I do it. I know that I've kept you waiting, Doctor. I'm not going to ask for your forgiveness for it. Prepare to skip this dialogue by holding space once you get the prompt to she... do so. When... And then just open the door. And then just follow the route that I'm going to be taking here. Um, you go over here. I'm going to speed up time a bit. You're sorry? I don't understand what you mean. Uh, am I crazy? Am, am I sick? Um, let me just go over that again. So yeah, you just want to follow the river here and then I think you just that you've turn here and seven years. follow this route. I, have. I cannot stay here any longer. In this That's the route you want to be taking. Town, in this world. Where everything reminds me of. And her. you have the, you're back at the house. Here, you, the only thing you want to pick up is this, and that's it. You want to then run over to your car. Once you do, you get a cutscene. Look out for the next ding, where you see the object objective change. And once you do, reload. So you skip a little cutscene. Now this is the worst part of the run for me. Just follow my route. Um, 
it's pretty unforgiving. You can very easily fail this if you stop for a millisecond, but just follow the route. Uh, these flashing things, just make sure you're not turning while you're going over them, and I, they shouldn't affect you. Otherwise, just follow my route for the most part. Turn left here. Don't let him escape. Kill him if necessary. There is a segment here where you want to do that map trick where you don't get hit. And it's very important here because you'll die if you don't do it correctly. Just go here, hold map, him. and then spam, spa spam forward to keep driving, and then hold forward. Here, you gotta watch out for the goats because if you do hit a goat, it's probably gonna kill you. Um, you almost caught him. Follow here. Now, there is a segment here to the left of the lamppost. Do not go to it, it'll stop you. And this bush, go to the right of the bush, or else the game's also gonna stop you. <laughs> Don't let there, him escape. There's Get a few him runs him I him. lost. Here, you just wanna go, like, with the fence there. Hold on, let me just go over that again. To show you a couple of things that might end your run if you're not careful. He's following him. going to speed up time here because I know it's uh, going to get me killed. You almost caught him. Um, this trick always scares me, but I've been able to consistently do it. I mean, driving in this game is a little... If you haven't escape. played it, it seems a lot easier than this, but I got used to it. Um, these fences here sometimes... <laughs> They can kill you if, like, you drive over them, they can slow you down, so be careful, try not to hit them. Do the map trick. Turn here. Not the goats. Be careful about the goats. <laughs> um, but yeah, what I wanted to show was... You almost caught him. Do not, like, go here and think, oh, this is going to save time. Hooray! And then this happens. And how quickly you die. <laughs> if you get stuck on anything, you are dead. So be very careful. And I'm not going to try and recreate it, but um, the same thing happens on the bush after that. If you go to the left of the bush, sometimes there's like something, or rather nothing, that just stops you for some reason. So try to avoid that. And yeah, you might want to practice this a bit. I mean, I don't know, I, I haven't had too many problems with it. I had two runs, which, or two or three runs, which stopped because I got stuck there, but... Yeah, it's something that always gives me a bit of anxiety. That fence went forward. For the end bit, uh, I'll just show you what I wanted to show you, just so you know, you know what to do. So, uh, first of all, this bush. Don't go to the left of it. It'll just kill you most of the time. Here, just Don't go along, escape. along kill the fence, necessary. and eventually it'll just uh, take control away from you, and it'll go through the fence, which might save you a tiny, a few frames. Then we have the graveyard chase. Uh, just follow my route. Um, you'll get a shot a few times. I don't... There's a few places where you can't really avoid it, but yeah. Just follow this route for the most part. Try to get behind objects a bit. If you see the, the eye getting red, so that they can't get a shot on you. Don't let him escape. Kill him if necessary. Following him. Go here, and then we have a little bit of a skip, which skips a cutscene. Don't go to the right here, go towards this tree, you almost caught him. and you're going to be here. And when you're here, try to go up here. You, we won't be able to go up here, but if you sort of go into this tree, it just bumps you up. Don't let him escape. 
uh, and just follow this route. I always wonder where are the where are the other guys? They're over there. Let's see, do this. They can go past past this point. But yeah, just run here. And just follow this route. And then we have the boss fight, guys. Watch out for that guy. Um, about the boss fight. Uh, so once you go past this fence, just go forwards and watch out for the dang. You'll want to reload the save to skip his cutscene. Um, yeah, just do that. And then we have the uh, cutscene. I just try to shoot him. And watch out for this. Once you see Where that, you uh, you're uh, you're uh, you're try to duck. Down Shit. I do. Uh, reloading. Ah, uh, shit. You cannot escape. You cannot. I think saving some time Shit, if you here. kill him while you're you close to him, run. apply it to I'm him, but you kill also you. want to kill him the next these gates, because that's the exit point. Die. These uh, gates just open, and, and then we have the end section of the game. Uh, there is a tiny skip here called the headache skip, which I wasn't able to master. Um, you can press Y to look at the ship, there's a headache you get. Sort of like about the time you pa go past this bush and a bit more, try to hold Y. Does that skip headache? No, it doesn't for me. I don't know. Um, just look it up in the documentation. So there's a way. It skips 1.6 seconds, so it's not that Nobody important. But it also doesn't cause you Nobody. too much time loss, so might as well go for it. Just uh, go run here. One of my runs crashed here after a car hit me, so that was that was nice. Uh, but yeah, just, uh, you want to get on the ships, just follow the route I'm taking. Do not get Policy hit by any cars. That nobody will know. These cars here, Policy. they'll stop for a bit, and they like to not follow the road, they actually do this. So be very careful with that, you, you probably wouldn't expect it. And it might just, uh, get you <laughs> a lot of time loss. Just go here, and you want to go towards the ship. Once you approach the ship, uh, you'll get the ding again, at which point you want to reload to skip the fade in. And then you talk to this guy again. She just, followed you here just as you followed her. Just press space to skip uh, the dialogue. Forgive me. I, I, I have to go. Uh, I have to go now. And then sprint here. He took her from us. Now she belongs to that man again. She doesn't belong to us anymore. To us. To to both of just us. Just go over here. There's a wolf here. Just pick it up. Come back. We we'll get a little headache. Transition into a maze. Just follow my pathing here. What I like to go off by is the bed here in the middle and the tub in the back, which is there for some reason. Just want to go towards the light over here. And you get a cutscene here. Here you can take a skip that Charlie the himself husband found. Was also there. He was going to England to um, the coven. Which I can't do consistently, Maybe so I wouldn't recommend it for you. But these stairs here, you can sort of like clip up them. Um, you can easily soft lock yourself here, so it's a pretty big risk. Um, I don't even know how to recreate it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, um, that's something you might want to know. 
just run here. It doesn't save too much time, like maybe eight seconds. Which is you a can't long pass time, over. But, so. There's a gas leak. Yeah. Waiting for the technicians to arrive. Just run over here. But I'm still here. Her husband will never know the secret. If you spam space here, should will recognize when you're able to sprint again. You have this coffin which you can just press E to push. And there. The auto splitter is configured to stop time shortly after you go into first person here. Um, right now, I think. He will know nothing. And the game's done. Nothing. The woman's secret belongs to me. Only me. I'll just uh, speed up time here. That's the run. With what you've seen here, you can get a sub 30 pretty easily. Well, you know, not pretty easily, necessarily, just if you put in some effort, you'll be able to get it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, also wanted to try Linda Skip again to show what it looks like. Um, and also... Every day, another sleep this day begins. Also show you some of the other skips from right there. There's no place that I know of. Here. Excuse me, I think you wanted to sit alone because yeah. when you saw me, uh, I had the contrary. feeling that you were I'm a bit the hesitant. I'll just go with this here as soon as I can. Um, the lady. Uh, Let's see if Good I day, can pull this off. Forgive me. Let's continue this conversation. I a lot of things about you. The way you treated the deputy governor was unbelievable. His leg is almost as perfect as Why did I do that in fast motion? He can keep on playing golf where he left off. Anyways, uh... If you agree to come with us, we are more than ready to send our grumpy surgeon and the other doctors away. I like it here. I'll give it a one more attempt on this video. But you can find it online pretty easily anyways. It's called the Linda Skip. Um, this... Be careful of the light switch. <laughs> I uh, occasionally try to switch it to opening the door. This Good day, Doctor. I'll give it one more attempt. Let's continue this conversation. I a lot of things about you. The way you treated the Deputy Governor was unbelievable. His leg is almost as perfect as and it used to be. About he can keep on playing golf where he left late. off. I too like late. it here. Okay, I don't care. There are such nice. Don't you ever try and come after me uh, or follow me. Or else you'll I can never pull that off. I pulled it three times. And it saves about eight or ten seconds. Also, if you're doing it... <coughs> Sorry about that. If you are Do doing I that skip, request, this door will stay open. So don't make the mistake of, like, doing that skip, running over here, the door's closed, you try to spam enter, the door's just gonna open. It's gonna fling open. Do not spam enter because you're just going to close the door and lose time. But the other skip that I wanted to show you called uh, Cock Launch. She talked about the train station. Let's see if I can pull uh, it I off. I should go there. Go <laughs> like here. Oh, I'm too, too far in. I'm too far in. This is not set up properly. You do something like this. It basically launches you, and you can just fly to this to the train station and saves thirty seconds. Um, look, basically, what I've done, I've done a very good run without the major skips. So I just want to start doing the major skips. Guess I should go there. And cock launch appears to be relatively consistent. See if I can do it now. I'm go here. I'm go towards this leaf. I want to go straight. I want to the branch at the bottom. I did it wrong again. Um, this is probably too far as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it launches you like that, except you go into the air. I'll give it one more shot. There's also a way to get the bike uh, towards the poster that you saw in in the uh, in the other part of the game, which also lets you um, like launch towards your house. This is terrible as well. Uh, this lab to do, I guess. Nothing. Okay, I give up. Um, right now, at least. Uh, that's the game. That's the run. I suppressed myself poorly. I just, um, you know, wanted to make this video because I looked up for a video like this and I w wasn't able to find it. So hopefully someone finds this useful. Um, check the description for some of the resources you can get that will give you information in a much more presentable manner than this was and if you are going to run the game you know good luck have fun with it i thought it would be boring initially but it's quite fun running the game um getting better and better and there's so many people there's a great community um trying to look for skips and everything uh, and it is pretty nice and if you're interested in more uh, speedruns um, Charlie will be putting in he said he will probably put more bounties like this for other speedrunning games so I'm excited to see which speedrunning communities he forms and which speedrun communities uh, he revitalizes if he does keep it up um, but yeah I mean I just wanted to make this to maybe get someone into speedrunning this game easier. Um, you know, the more people we have, the more chances we have of people finding new glitches and speedrunning the game in general and competing. And, you know, the end goal is just the end goal of any speedrun of a game to beat the game as fast as humanly possible and to showcase that you know breaking the game that's the whole point i know that there's a bounty for ten thousand dollars and it's something you real you realistically could get but that's not the whole point here i don't think the point is forming a community of people working together to see the absolute limits of humanity in terms of completing the game as fast as humanly possible yeah, that's everything from me, so thanks for watching, I guess, and uh, good luck with the speedruns.